Welcome plungers. Thank you for tapping in. Matter of fact, give me a sec. Okay, that's better. Now, you guys remember Dinotopia, right? And you guys remember the B&B, right? Well, I finally have something 100% furnished and completed. So I'm gonna show you that today. This is Reyna, my second griffin. Uh, she doesn't quite get along with Aura, so she does her own thing. They're not cool like that. Maybe they'll get cool eventually at some point, but not right now. Um, actually, let's go in through the front door so we can give this the proper tour right here. So there's the front door. We're gonna enter Casa de la Chase and we enter into a living room. Oh yes, this is modded. Um, if you guys want a mod list, uh, just leave a comment and I'll make a list of the mods in the next video. But uh, this is the garage carport with a working clock. If we wait a moment, it will change shortly. There we go. Working clock. Um, and you know I had to do a secret door, right? So there's the secret door. Um, I got these two ceratosauruses and I'm trying to breed uh, this color into an alpha level. When I say this color, they may look the same, but the spines on this one are green. The spines on this one are not, they're black. So I like the green, so I wanna breed the green, but that's neither here nor there. So we'll close that up. Oh yeah, we got a Lysosaurus in there. And we have ourselves an Overraptor. Overraptor Ito, he's from uh, the large base. And this is Lemon right here. And these two do not have names yet because they're not the top of the food chain. After breeding is completed, when I get my alphas, then I'll, I'll give them names. But those two are just cattle. So I got a meat grinder, which actually works. You throw meat in here and grind resources into new items. So I don't know how that works. We'll figure all of this stuff out in another video. We'll go through all the mods and modded, modded stuff, you know? So we can make butter and cheese. Those are new additions to the game. Along with, uh, did I throw anything new in here? Well, we got coconut in here. There's cheese, there's milk, there's, there's all kinds of stuff from these mods. There's juices, as you'll see when we get upstairs. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the bathroom with the pink walls, you know, had to keep it nice for the guests. Got a little sitting area with a clock that you definitely can't see the face of. This is the blueprint station, which is part of another mod. Um, that is access to the deck where I first parked up. But we'll keep continue up to the second floor. It's split level. So here we have an alchemy table and we have our chem bench, classic chem bench and within the alchemy table. Let's just show you real quick. You can make different things like uh, deco herb, herb, uh, potion of wisdom, wine filled glass and deco herb B. And you know, you already know about that. This is infinite storage right here. The textures aren't great on this or maybe it just didn't render in, but the textures aren't great in this mod, or some of these mods, because this one, the textures are great. It's a separate mod. The textures are great for this one. This one uh, needs some help. Functionally, this mod is far superior. Deco pen, modern desk, vinyl, television, radio, cassette, TV control. Like a lot of stuff to throw around to give the place a little, a little bit more of a homely look, you know? Uh, that's a regular bookcase, blueprint. Blueprint bookcase, that's what I'm storing there. Uh, here we have our upgrade station, so we take items. Here's another item, lumber planks to build things. Uh, pillow is a resource in this. I don't, I'm not quite sure what we use pillows for. 
But yeah, you throw things in here and you can upgrade them. So as you can see, I've got all ascending things. So it'll take something from primitive to ascending, as long as you got the resources to do it. And that's where it gets tricky because to get to ascendant is, is super expensive. So, you know, sometimes it might be worth it, sometimes might not. But the augment station, I haven't quite figured out how to work this one out yet, but we'll get to that in another video as well. You got the grinding wheel and you use oil um, and uh, grind bigger resources and parts and powder. I don't know, maybe it's a grinder. Uh, this is definitely a grinder of sorts. And this way we have our uh, little sitting area. Got our gun case. Got our player piano. And then we'll go upstairs to the greenhouse. At night, these butterflies are gorgeous. Let's go out to the deck real quick and look at it in more detail. So we have our water spout going into the bucket. I think the bucket is part of one of the mods, part of one of the deco mods. Uh, we have a horticulture bench, which allows us to create things like uh, wide tomatoes or wide purple beets, wide strawberries, you know, ascend cotton. And here we have a, a fruit press which allows us to create tinto berry juice, mayo berry juice, magenta berry juice, etc. And here we have our beehive in which we place rare flowers and from which we can collect giant bee honey, bee wax, which is another modded item, and flower honey which is also another modded item. And I can't wait to get into these modded items to see what they, they can do and what they're about. So we'll run over here real quick to show you the under construction area. You know, we've got two, two doors, well, three doors, one on the bridge and two on each structure. And uh, this is gonna be the next one. It's gonna be mostly Adobe, I think. And let's close that up. At least close that up because this was wide open. <laughs> Anything could have walked in here and wreaked havoc. And uh, right through here, we have access to the other property next door. We got our garage here again. And I made it more into a speakeasy, a lounge area where you could come and you can hang out, you can take a load off, chill. You can do some work if you want to. I'm going to throw some more of those um, workbenches in here. You can do some work if you want to. And also, I realize I don't look up as much as I should, and I'm going to start doing that because up is really special sometimes. And I don't pay attention to it. So here is a is a workbench, modern decor workbench, uh, craft metal items here. So I guess it's just strictly metal. I got a bathroom here. Got my sink, working sink. So you can throw um, canteens in there and get yourself some water. You got your toilet. We know how that works, but do we know how the tub works? It's a working tub. You can just jump right in that thing. We got our working bed. We got a settee and uh, that's about it. So let's, uh, let's run down to the Griffin. Remember we got a Remain armed while we outdoors. Cause it ain't sweet out here. Let's uh, run up to the Griffin and check it out from the aerial view. Yeah, that's the that's the first two. Cause I don't think I'll do any much more to the second property. We got a shark over here getting busy, but what we do have over here is part three to the project. Cause this is just gonna become a thing. Like I said, I'm gonna build all the way down to the beach. So I staggered it a little bit because there's gonna be complex here. I'm gonna tear down these trees. There's gonna be more complex going in through here. Because what I've realized, even though I've, big, I've built Dinotopia ex extremely big, isn't quite big enough. I mean, it's too big for me right now, which is why I've been living here full time. I've basically been living here full time, conducting my uh, Ceratosaurus operation. 
But as I advance in the game and we're gonna start taking out bosses and stuff, then I'm gonna need a bigger place because while this is good with cryo freezers for a small operation of trying to breed, you know, the right kind of dinosaurs, especially if I'm gonna have one of them eat the dinosaur anyway, then it works out great. But other than that, then I'm gonna need some place to keep my dinosaurs, especially when it's time to go into battle. So I can march them all right into battle, which is why I've been building close to OBS. Well, I did in the last playthrough before all my data got wiped, but I've been building close to OBS so I could just march into battle with the troops that I'm gonna use. So we've gotta get, get ourselves a Megapithecus. We gotta get ourselves uh, one of those birds, the claws. Don't even remember what, the name of those things. And they're usually right around here. So if I didn't affect the, if I didn't affect the, uh, the spawning of it, then we can get one. But as you can see, this this gun does some things. Is that an alpha? That's probably an alpha. Let's come over here and. Let this alpha know that he's in the wrong waters. What the hell? Yeah, I could use another one. And I saw a trilobite. Yo, these things spawn like crazy over here. They spawn like crazy. But yeah, let me get, let me get my, I think that's an alpha, yeah, that's an alpha. That's definitely an alpha. Let's go and try to get ourselves some, uh, some meat. Try to make this quick. In my last playthrough, I leveled up oxygen like crazy. Not this time, but we're gonna try to get what we can get. Okay, and we are out of here. But yeah, guys, that is it for this episode. See you in the next one. Oh yeah, yeah. See you in the next one. Thanks for tapping in. Peace.